Are you looking to move to Waldorf, Maryland? Watch this video because I'm going to tell you some things that no one else would tell you about living in Waldorf, Maryland. All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Scout with eXp Realty in Maryland. If you're looking to move to Maryland, especially Waldorf, Maryland, use that contact information below. Call me, text me, and I'd be happy to make that move a lot easier for you. If you want, you can also scroll down to the first comment, click on that link, and it will schedule a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with me, and we can talk about your home buying needs. And last but not least, if this content's helpful and you want to see more of it, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content. All right, so like I said, today what we're going to talk about are some things that people won't tell you about moving to Waldorf. So a lot of the times when we read different um, kind of stuff about moving to Waldorf, it's from a perspective of a realtor or someone like that trying to get you there, and they're not going to give you the nitty gritty of it. So I reached out to some people that moved to Waldorf, and they told me some things that I found interesting that I wanted to share with you. You. So the biggest thing I want to talk about, especially if you go into niche.com and read the reviews of Waldorf, is I feel like based on those reviews, I can see a town in flux. So this town is kind of mixed in identity where it's people that have lived there for you know 15, 16, 30 years. Feels like Waldorf is not the same. And that's because Waldorf has changed a lot. There's been so much growth and so much development. A lot of the people that were in Waldorf since they were kids feel like Waldorf is becoming more built up and it just doesn't have that same feel they felt as a child, which is expected because places change. Now on the opposite side of that, you have a lot of people coming from the capital region where property prices are expensive, where everything's getting crowded, where they can't find the house that they you know, can afford. And they're coming into Waldorf and they're finding all those things. So those people are really happy with what Waldorf is, that it's more affordable, that it's got you know all different types of housing types, that there's shopping opportunities, that it's close to the capital region and Annapolis and all those areas. So, you know, it really is a town in flux between people that have been here for a while and people that are coming here now. Um, it's going to be interesting to see kind of where it goes and what development has, um, what effect development has on it. Uh, but it definitely is a town right now that's kind of seeing, um, you know, just almost like an identity crisis uh, at the moment. Okay, so on that same token, something that I found interesting and that probably no one else is talking about when you're talking about Waldorf is south of Waldorf, there's a new bridge going in that's going to connect Maryland and Virginia. Now, currently there's a bridge, it's a two-lane bridge called the Harry Nice Bridge, and it's it's a pretty sketchy bridge, but soon it's going to be a much bigger bridge that's going to allow easier travel between Virginia and Maryland. Uh, on the other side of Virginia is a big naval base. And I think with that and projections um, from the different traffic studies and, and studies like that are saying with that bridge coming, we're going to see a ton more people and development around Waldorf. So if you're someone that's looking to move to Waldorf, you might really want to think about that it's only going to get more populated as the years go on, according to different studies that the state and other private companies have done. All right, so something else that a lot of people mention when I asked them about Waldorf and something that they didn't really realize before they got down there, Waldorf is definitely a bedroom community, meaning most people that live there just kind of sleep there and then commute to somewhere else to work. Not a lot of people work in Waldorf. And what they felt the ramifications of that was was that the community feel of Waldorf can feel lacking at times. Um, I've heard that complaint from a few different people. There's not a lot of community events um, centered around Waldorf. There's not really a downtown Waldorf either. So it can be tough to feel like you're part of that Waldorf community. So that's something that you're really wanting to buy into. You might want to look in other towns like La Plata, which has kind of that small town downtown um, instead of Waldorf. And now this last one, or this next one, a lot of people talk about it. Um, you know, and so I'm kind of surprised when people say they didn't realize uh, about this one, but it's about the traffic on 301. Now, 301 is the main drag right through Waldorf and it can get backed up. It has stoplights on it. And with all the people commuting in and out of Waldorf, you know, at different times during the rush hour, it just gets backed up. And I was kind of surprised when people said they didn't think it would be that traffic-y. It really does get to a point where it's stop and go, um, especially during the rush hours, the morning and the afternoon and rush hours. So be prepared for that um, and really understand that while you know it's a nuisance, it's also, it's kind of the thing you have to deal with when you're, you're in such a compact 
area in Southern Maryland. All right, and so the last thing that no one tells you before moving to Waldorf is, you know, there's a lot of different housing options and there's even being more built. So right now I can think of offhand three or four different communities that are gonna be new communities that are gonna be built around White Plains and Waldorf in that area. So there's gonna be tons of different inventory and housing to meet the demand of people moving to Waldorf. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. If you have any questions or need any help, make sure you use that contact information below. Call me, text me, and I'd be happy to help you make your move to Waldorf a whole lot easier. You can also scroll down, click on the first link, and it will schedule a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with me, and we can talk about your home buying needs. And last but not least, if this content was helpful and you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content about moving to Maryland. Hope to see you on the next video.